Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, in a way, absolutely destroy Stephen Fulton, makes easy work of Fulton. I could not have been more wrong about anything. Uh, Stephen Fulton absolutely gets uh, outclassed and punished. Um, in a way, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into... Uh, today's please subscribe to text boxing as well. <clears throat> All right, let's get into today's show. Uh, in a way, absolutely annihilates Stephen Fulton. Not even, not even close. At no point was Fulton really competitive in that fight. He did okay in the fourth and fifth rounds. Um, he didn't win them. He lost them, but he did a little better. He landed. He's able to land some right hands and and do some work. Uh, and I want to make two things in this. So one. Stephen Fulton is not an average fighter. Stephen Fulton is an excellent fighter, okay? Um, Stephen Fulton is as complete as I told you he was when I – and I was entirely wrong in the fight, okay? I picked Fulton to win. All right, fine. Uh, average fighters don't beat unified champs like Danny Ramon, Brandon Figueroa, and beat champs like you know, Angelo Leo. Average fighters don't do that. He's not an average fighter. I've heard that that going around the boxing Twitter sphere. It's not true. Uh, Stephen Fulton is excellent. In a way, he's the best fighter in the world. Okay, there's no more debate over that, as far as I'm concerned. My next, <clears throat> I had him at number two behind Usyk. My next ranking, he will be number one. It's not debatable anymore. I, I don't like how he skipped over the guys at 115, but this is no longer debatable. He's the best fighter in the world. Okay, uh, clearly he's the best 122. He's the best fighter in the world. No one is beating him uh, at 122 or 118 in the foreseeable future. He's 30. He's probably got three more years at the top. Here comes his run. In a way, is the best fighter in the world. Period. Point blank. Period. He's the best fighter in the world. End of discussion. Um, it, 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 again, I don't love what he did by skipping over 115, but he's strong. He's powerful. He was just as fast as Fulton. His jab was on uh, on spot all night. He, he rocking an up jab. He was out jabbing Fulton. He was just as quick as Fulton. He was stronger, more powerful than Fulton. Um, he took everything away from Fulton. He's got wins over Fulton, Paul Butler, two over Denaire, uh, Jason Maloney, Manny Rodriguez. Jamie McDonald. I mean, he, he, and some of these McDonald, Piano, these are first round knockouts. You know, um, just you know, devastating. Kohei Kono, um, David Kimona. He's got and and then Navarez. He, the resume is now a pound for pound number one resume. It is. He's got the names on it. He, he's now going from Navarez and Kono up into this new era of five Stephen Fulton. He's the best fighter in the world. Um, and I, it, to me, it doesn't even matter what Crawford and Spence do. Crawford and Spence can, 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 can vow for spot two or three, but there's really nothing they can do tomorrow to jump in a way on the pound-for-pound pound ranking. I mean, on Saturday. There's nothing they can do on Saturday to, to, to get ahead of in a way. In a way, is the pound-for-pound pound king. Usyk is two, and then the winner of Spence Crawford will probably be three. Um, and uh, the winner will be three, and... and Probably Charlo, a uh, little Charlo would be four. Um, the performance itself was an A plus. 
you know, you could tell right away early in the fight, Fulton did not like the power that in a way possessed. You could say he was uncomfortable with it. He didn't want to get hit with it, right? You could tell right away. After the second round, boy, you know, during the second round, really, I knew my prediction was wrong. Fulton's not going to win this fight, man. Fulton is not going to win this fight. Um, and uh, by the sixth round, I thought it was obvious he was going to get stopped. It was just a matter of time. And if you go back to my Twitter, I said in the sixth round, probably two to three more rounds. Clint got him in two more rounds. Um, he got him in the eighth. That performance is as, as good as it gets from from in a way. I mean, picture perfect performance um, in a huge fight against the biggest guy, you know, physically he's ever faced. Um, and, and I should have realized that Fulton wasn't going to be too big for him because Denier went up and wait. And Donair wasn't too big for him. Well, Donair in the first fight gave him a hell of a challenge. And kudos to Donair for being able to give him that kind of challenge. Where does Fulton go from here? I, I guess is the question, right? I, I mean, where does I mean Fulton goes to 126? I'd imagine. Uh, where does Inouye go? Rather, um, where, where does Inouye go from here? 122 is not really the best division. You know, he already beat the best guy. You know, there's, there's Neary, there's Depalez. Um, You know, it, it's not really a, a stacked division. I don't know. Does he go back down to 18? You know, Sam Goodman, is that a fight anyone cares about? You know, he can fight Goodman. Um, I, I don't know. That, that doesn't do anything for me at all, other than I get to see Inouye fight again. Um, Neri Tapales, do any name like that? Just go to 26. I mean, does this become like Pacquiao? How high can he go? Does he go to 26 and fight the winner of? Um, well, I mean, there'd be a couple fights for him at, at 26. I, you know, I I don't want to see him really go up any more weight classes. Like it's enough. The, the, he, it's enough weight classes, right? Like you, you you've made your point. Um, there's probably better fights for him at 18. If you look at the landscape of 18, it's a you know it's a more talented division than, than 122. 122, like I kind of feel like Fulton was the guy there. Um, you know, if, if you go back down to 18, um, we got 18 pulled up. Hang on one second. Um, I guess Fulton's gonna Fulton's gonna go down. Fulton's gonna stay either twenty two or go to twenty six. Uh, he, he, his plan was to go to twenty six and, and and rematch uh, with, with Brandon Figueroa. Um, so it, it's not like this is out of the question for him anyway. It's probably the smart move for him to go to twenty six. Um, at eighteen, you know, in a way, he's gonna have. A, a little bit more options at 18. Like I said, I'm going I'm to pull up 18. Let, let, let's let's look at the rankings at, at 18. Uh, 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 give me one minute. Hang on. I'm going to get 18 pulled up. Sorry about that. All right. I'm still learning how to do this. Jason Maloney, Manny Rodriguez, Kuma Inouye, Rigan Dow. You know, on second, but 18 ain't the most loaded division either, honestly. Um, Jason Maloney, I guess, is the fight there. Uh, he already, be, you know, Manny Rodriguez, he already blew out. I, I don't think he's going to fight his brother. Uh, Ashida, it's not really. He's only 31. I didn't see if he was older than that. Uh, Israel Gonzalez and, and Tanaka in 2021. 18 is not a great division. Gary Antonio Russell, Paul Butler. He's already gone through most of Jerwin and Kahas. All right. 18 is not much better. You know, that's going to be, in a way's biggest hurdle is that he's out of names and he skipped over 115. But right now, in a way, is, is the best fighter in, in the land. In a way, is the pound for pound king, regardless of what he does, of what Spencer Crawford do on Saturday. Um, they, they may be able to compete, but that performance, it, it, 
Yeah, that performance from Inouye was as complete and as perfect and as flawless as they get. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It is July 25th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter.